Let me give you an example of uh, a very basic system that when we put it in to its operational environment, we learned a, a lot about the system. Uh, Aflotech uh, conducted a test on a tactical air control party radio uh, that was to be placed into a Humvee. And one of the things we did is we simulated that Humvee um, hit an IED, an improvised explosive device, and the Humvee turned over on its side. Dude, go! Come on, make it! At that point, we told him the enemy was coming, you know, strip off your gear and get out. And he tried taking off his, his vest and his helmet, and he just couldn't get the equipment off. The radio was in the way. What tugged on your heartstrings was trying to see that Aflotech tester who was playing the role of a JTACker struggling to get past the radio, saying, help me, I, I can't get out, I'm stuck. So we at Aflotech ensure that when our airmen go to battle, they're never placed in a situation where they have to say, help me, I'm stuck and I can't get out. Both legislation and directive was put into place to stand up uh, operational test agencies that would provide uh, independent assessments and would represent both the user and the developer, but be in an independent position uh, to report directly to their service chief with the performance of, of a weapon system in terms of its effectiveness and suitability. We are different than developmental test in, in that we now take that weapon system and we rub it in its operational environment. And that's a very dynamic environment where the enemy gets a vote. And we see things um, in, in the performance of the weapon system that you just may not see uh, in developmental test. Usually uh, when, when you put a weapon system under a rigorous operational test, you find out things you just didn't expect un until you put it in those conditions. The whole goal is to make sure that the warfighter is not surprised when he, he fields the system. So I, I'm in the same church, the same pew, and I'm reading out of the same hymnal uh, as that operational pilot uh, when he says that a weapon system has to go under a rigorous operational test. And my promise to him is if it goes under an Aflotech test and we put our seal of approval on the report, that report is trustworthy and he can trust the system to deliver as we define it in the report.